Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do a unique top 10 autumn or fall fragrance list for men. Before we do that, great clip here. This is from my good friend Joe at the DDLD Dry Down Low Down YouTube channel. Check him out, link in the description, subscribe. He's done the video for me. Well, he did it. He, it's a video I'm nicking. I'm stealing it off his channel, but he said it was okay. And it's actually based on an appearance by Al Manzano. You look pathetic for someone who's 50. You're right. You're right. I I'm not right. I'm Al. Later, guys. I got no time for you. I got a life, baby. Love Alan. you. On my live stream, a funny moment for sure. To cut a long story short, Al Manzano does not respect people with gaming chairs, and he likes to tell it how it is. Here we go. No one likes a man boy, but everyone loves a Manzano. Manzano gaming chairs are the only gaming chairs that possess old school class. Their patented headrest speakers will never allow you to become some pathetic incel loser who thinks fragrances beyond 1983 are even worth a squirt of piss. Fragrances you're talking about. Fragrances that were not even vintage when I used them. You know what they were? They were called potions. Trouble with the ladies? Had <laughs> no problem. Okay, you guys don't even have women on your channel. I never ran into that problem. I never ran into that problem with women. I've never seen any women on any of you guys' channels. Women to sit next to you. Pathetic. Does gaming and fragrance streaming have you out of shape? Are you guys idiots? Are you guys stupid? My God, why am I? I work out 12 hours a week for the last 35 years. Am I talking to these people on this channel? Shut up, little fat fuck. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you're talking to a fucking idiot. Manzano Gaming Chairs. Because you've got a life, baby. Order within the next hour and receive a free disco ball with your purchase. Thank you so much to the Dry Down Lowdown. Check him out, link in description. Okay, so folks, we're gonna do a top 10 video, or maybe 12, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember how many. And this is a great, great list. I think if you want something a bit different, this is for fragrances I think would be great for fall or autumn, however you describe it in your country. The season that comes after summer, if you're lucky, okay? So these are really, really nice masculine fragrances. I've tried to go a little bit off the obvious ones that we hear about on many other channels. If you like something unique, please subscribe to me. Subscribers do help. And by the way, if you wanna get samples of fragrances and you're in the USA or Canada, please go to myfragrancesamples.com. My flower fell off. Hang on. Myfragrancesamples.com fragrance, my and use my code Mr. M I S T E R for 15% off across the site. Here we go then. No particular order. Let's dive straight in. Number one then. So these all work well, I think, in the autumn time. Obviously, at the end of summer. Temperatures go down a little bit. We're looking for things a little bit less citrusy, less fresh, maybe a little bit more woody and spicy. It's as simple as that. Number one, Fahrenheit Parfum by Dior. An amazing, beautiful fragrance from Francois Demachy. Of course, a flanker to the late 80s release, the original Fahrenheit Eau de Toilette. I think this was about 10 years ago they released this, something like that. So it came way, way after Fahrenheit. And it's got the DNA, the, the essence of Fahrenheit kind of in there, but they've made it sweeter a little bit, and a little bit less rugged, a little bit less petroleum-like, a little bit smoother. And they've done, it's just a brilliant, brilliant twist on Fahrenheit with a character all of its own. My note listing on the back of the bottle here says Sicilian Mandarin, Violet, uh, Leather Accord, and Vanilla, uh, Bourbon Vanilla, along with, uh, and that's it, okay? So it's really, really, really beautiful. It's got that classic red, fiery Fahrenheit kind of feel about it, but the added uh, uh, vanilla thing in there just smooths it out a little bit, gives it a little bit more of a sensuous thing. Women go nuts for this. Women love this juice. Fahrenheit Parfum, very good performance, a wonderful, wonderful flanker. Let's move along. Next up then, I'm gonna throw in one you don't hear talked about enough. Papillon, Papillon Perfumes, okay, Papillon Artisan Perfumes, an English house, Tobacco Rose, amazing unisex fragrance, perfumer Liz Moores, an amazing lady, she releases excellent, excellent, unique artisanal crafted fragrances, and you know, you only get kind of one a year or something like that, she's not pumping out 12 a month like some of these BS niche houses, and mentioning no names. I think this is fantastic. As the name on the tin says, it does have a beautiful rose note and this kind of tobacco-esque accord. I, th I think there's a kind of a hay note in here, beautifully blended, I think with patchouli and rose, and it gives this very kind of dark, dry rose. It's not sweet in any way. It's not a sweet, jammy rose, really. And it's just so rich, it's so 
classy. It's so grown up. It works, I think, great on a man and a woman. You will notice a rose accord. So if you feel rose is very feminine, you may not like this if you're a chap. But I think it's absolutely wonderful. Amazing performance. It's an uh, eau de parfum, but it performs. It lasts really, really work well, like more like an extract. Pure class in a bottle. Wonderful. Pro this, this house are so good. No bullshit with the packaging and bottles. Tasteful, nice, but not over the top. And you know what you're paying for? The quality of the composition and the juice. Tobacco Rose Papillon. Check them out. Great British house. Well done to them. Okay, moving on. Going for what, only one creed in the list. Now, I love Bois de Portugal for the colder weather, but not everyone loves that one. I've got to be honest with you. Royal Oud is superb. 2011 release, 11 years old now. Wonderful, beautiful, fresh, but woody. And yeah, a little bit spicy, woody, aromatic fragrance. Okay, so you've got uh, bergamot, pink pepper, lovely kind of pink peppery note, very peppery, this one. And beautiful, beautiful cedar wood in the base. <clears throat> Excuse me, a kind of, I think there's galbanum, or is it lab, Ooh, I think it's galbanum. Galbanum and labdanum don't smell anything like each other. The words are similar though. Uh, I'm gonna say galbanum. It's got this little hint of greenness. Very, very beautiful crisp cedar wood accord. There's barely any oud that you'd notice, but who cares? The fragrance is beautiful, grown up, classy, very much a dressed up kind of smell. Wouldn't work so well in a t-shirt and shorts, but any anything you're wearing in the autumn time should be all right. But if you're dressed up a little bit, you know, great for a wedding, expensive, mediocre performance. Who cares? I forgive Creed. The scent is amazing, perfect for the autumn. Next up, another niche one. I'll throw in some cheapies in a minute. Laird de Desert Marocaine. It smells like the air of the Moroccan desert. Andy Tower 2005 release. Tower perfumes. So there is rock rose. I think uh, rock rose is labdanum. So kind of an incense -y thing as you would maybe associate with an Arabian themed perfume. And some wonderful spices. I, I swear to goodness a bit of lavender in there too. It's very very wearable. It's slightly exotic. It's dry. It's arid. It's spicy. And it's a wonderfully mixed and blended fragrance. It is absolutely superb. So I would say this Eau de Toilette intense which performs more like an extract Lair de desert marocaine you can get it for only like 99 pounds ish maybe a bit more now for 50 mil stunning stunning fragrance uh, by the way the tobacco rose i can't remember the price but it's well it's below your kind of creed price is very reasonable i think for niche okay we need some cheapies you didn't hear about this one for a while still love it i still love it bogart pour on humphrey no humphrey Jack Bogart, who knows what that house is, very weird. A lot of their cheapies are crap. This one is the best. 2004 release, wonderful lavender mixed with a tobacco accord. If you imagine Thierry Mugler's Pure Havan mixed with Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal, you might get something like this. Tonka bean too, a little mix of something of its own. So it's got a little bit of a, uh, a sweetness in there, a little bit of vanillic. It also has wonderful, wonderful crisp tobacco accord and this, this nice kind of barbershop undertone too, a bit like Lamal, lavender, that kind of thing. It is really, really good. Amazing performance, fun, fun. Always puts a smile on my face. Great for autumn time. I actually wore it on a summer holiday too as an evening scent. So whatever, seasons don't matter really, but I've got to put something in the damn title of this video. Next up, Aqua de Parma. Aqua de Parma, you might typically think of, oh yeah, they're great for summer, aren't they? Well, they are, but Colonia Intensa is maybe the best for the colder seasons. It does have that kind of citrus stuff you expect from the Aqua de Parma colonias. Then a lovely bit of ginger and some leather. So it's richer, a little bit more sensual and a little bit deeper and, and more dark than some of the very fresh and lovely Aqua de Parma colonias. So if you want one for the winter time, this is very classy, very grown up. I've got great performance and God knows even one or two compliments. It's amazing juice, Intensa, superb. This is the one for me to go for in the colder weather, Intensa Aqua de Palma. Oh, great, 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 great one. Okay, last cheapy maybe in, well, no, a couple of cheapies to come. Okay, Jai Peron, Boucheron, uh, this is the Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, fine too. Spend a bit more for the Eau de Parfum. They smell very, 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 very similar. Okay, so this is wonderful, wonderful. Again, lavender, kind of a bit barbershopish, a little bit, to me, I've always said it, a bit like Fabergé's Brut with added vanilla. So it's a little bit more exotic, oriental, dare I say. So kind of a barbershop feel with a twist of beautiful benzoin stroke vanilla. A little bit spicy, powdery, very, very powdery. Bit old fashioned, but beautiful. Wonderful bottle design, decent performance, Jai Perom, cheapy, sort of the 30 pounds mark for 100 and, 120 mil, is it even? No, 100, only 100 mil, that'll do me, that'll do me. Moving along the list now, we're gonna go to L'Enstant de Guerlain, the Eau de Toilette. You can get the Eau de Parfum too, but I think the Eau de Toilette is fantastic. So it has the classic little bit of a citrusy freshness from Guerlain that they always do so well. The Guerlainard mixture of citrusiness and for, uh, sweetness in the base. And this wonderful, wonderful chocolatey patchouli, this subtle chocolatey 
semi-gourmand, almost nutty gourmandish chocolatey patchouli thing mixed in with some floral accords and freshness. It's so sophisticated. It doesn't smell old-fashioned like maybe Habit Rouge, which I also love from Galan. And that, that mixture, a little bit of some woods, the patchouli and the chocolatiness just makes it really, really enticing and beautiful and still sophisticated, not like a vulgar gourmand, but a rather sophisticated, subtle, semi-gourmand fragrance for the classy, uh, well-dressed gentleman like me, like what I am, in the autumn. Go for L'Enstant de Guerlain. You can pick that up for great prices for like 30 something pounds for 50 mil. Great value. Speaking of vulgar gourmands, here is one that is actually vulgar. Guilty pleasure for me, Montal Mukalat. Mukalat by Montal. It has a weird note of big strawberry. It has a lot of vanilla. It smells like one of those scented erasers, a strawberry scented child's rubber or a razor okay that's what it smells like or a duck people talk about doll's heads too it's almost rubbery uh it's really weird but it's so nice it's it's just ju juicy sweet gourmandish almost tacky and vulgar but just in a fun way lasts ages wonderful vanilla with fruitiness guilty pleasure for me when i'm not feeling all smart and sophisticated i love montel mukala and it cuts through well in the colder temperatures. So, so good all year round, actually, but good for the autumn. Claire from the Smurfy Girly channel said she um, thought this scandal by Roger Dove, scandal uh, parfum pour homme, was like a classic perfect fougere for the winter or maybe autumn time. So a beautiful classic aromatic fougere stroke. Some call, well, no, citrusy, spicy. Some people compare it to Dior's Eau Sauvage, the vintage one, which is a citrus aromatic, but I think, yeah, it's a little bit heavier, richer, definitely lots of lavender, lots of barbershop things. If you look at the note listing, it's got everything under the sun. So we are, God knows what, galvanum, jasmine, blah, 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 blah. Uh, tarragon is in there. So lots of green herbals, very complex, hard to pick out individual notes, very dressed up, very classy, a brilliant, brilliant, classy, very expensive fougere. You know, if you're like Bois de Portugal, stuff like that. Claire said it's very me. So if you know my fougere taste, my old man smells, one of the most refined examples of that. Very good, expensive, but arguably I think worth it. Egoist, Egoist from Chanel. The ultimate sandalwood scent, also with ambrette seed and a mandarin, I do believe, in there. Wonderful, beautiful sandalwood, too, and some floral accords. A beautiful classic from 1990. This wonderful, rich, warming, semi-spicy, sweet, but very, very classy and grown-up thing with that overwhelming, beautiful, one of the best, 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 best sandalwoods I've ever smelled, niche or otherwise. I've got a vintage and another one that's a bit more recent. The modern, they don't, they don't screw up their reformulations. Get egoist. Women love that, by the way. Women love that one. Last but not least, thank you, Miami Cuddles. Paul Sebastian, fine cologne, wonderful powdery barbershop smell. Kind of a fougere powdery with a bit of spice, similar to Pinard Club, Clubman. It's like if they make Pinard Clubman, that classic dapper splash on barbershop, but a bit richer in an eau de parfum, maybe. And a little twist of its own magic. Wonderful, classy, dapper, a little bit warm and spicy and woody, as well as being powdery and somewhat fresh. Lovely. Paul Sebastian, fine cologne. Get it. That's my list. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out the live streams every Monday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Amazing scenes, lots of great fragrance stuff. And you know what? Maybe a bit of drama too. Join me there. I will leave it there. Remember, whatever you do, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. And sometimes life can stink, but we can always smell Good. Bye bye. Bon vivor. It'll be interesting to see what we think. Okay, so this one is definitely a little different than you can. T you can smell the difference. I was gonna say you can taste it. <laughs> you can smell the difference between this and the designer fragrances. This yeah, one, you haven't handed it to me yet, and I could already smell it. I imagine walking into like the Ritz of Bora Bora or anywhere. Four Star Seasons. Bar, right. Four Seasons. <laughs> and like you know, the man in a suit that you just know is the one. This is what he smells like. Like it smells very mature, but in a really sexy way. The man at the fancy dinner who is the host, yeah. he's throwing the party and this is what he smells like. Yeah, he's sitting at the, the head of the yeah, table. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to say. Manly man, super yeah. masculine. It smells very good for masculine. So good job. We like it. It's really, really nice. It's honestly- It smells very expensive. It I was smells, gonna say- It smells much more expensive than it is. If you'd like to see an extra video from me every week, sign up to my Patreon group. It's only $2 a month. There's a link in the description. And we have loads of interesting stuff going on in there. I do a lot of fragrance stuff, of course, but I also talk about some other things to do with my life. It's really fun, and I hope to see you in there. As I say, you can follow the link in the description, or just go to Patreon and type in Mr. Smelly 1977